Welcome back. A forensic expert who worked on the investigation into Princess Diana's death has given evidence at David Bain's murder retrial. The pathologist flown in from England told the court the accused's father could have committed suicide. Vicky Wilkinson Baker reports. A defence expert all the way from England. I do. <clears throat> a forensic pathologist famous for doing the post mortem on Princess Diana. 1997, yes. His evidence crucial for David Bain. The defence want to show his father Robin committed suicide after shooting his family. Based on the wound appearances and the pathology aspects, um, that wound is, is consistent with a self inflicted injury. Robin Bain was found lying on the floor with the rifle nearby. Three pathologists giving evidence for the Crown have all said suicide is unlikely, but this witness disagrees. I wouldn't regard that, that site of entry as being particularly unusual. It's actually what I call a, a site of election in suicide, in other words, on the temple. He believes it was a close contact wound, but under cross-examination agreed he couldn't be certain about the suicide. But you can't actually say, of course, whether it was suicide or not without knowing all the other evidence we've been going through for the last three months, can you? No, I think the determination whether it's suicide or not is very much a matter for the court. Also at issue, did David Bain hear his sister Laniet gurgling when she was injured by the shot to her cheek or after two more serious shots to the head? Contrary to Crown experts, Dr Chapman believes she could have survived all three. It's possible that there would be a period of survival sufficient to allow some respiratory effort and perhaps some gurgling type noises. The defence is due to finish next week with several scientific witnesses to go. Vicky Wilkinson Baker, One News.